kind of did a bad thing as parents. We left this guy home alone for the whole day. Why are you looking at me like that? Yeah, what happened? <laughs> did something happen today? Around, but something actually did happen. Yeah. What's poppin' team squad? Welcome back to the Rush Fam. Welcome back to another vlog. And before we start this video, y'all, I just gotta give a big reminder that our podcast, the Rush Life Podcast, episode one is premiering this Sunday, April 9th. Are you excited, babe? I'm super excited, you guys. It's been like, like a year in the making, mm -hmm. and it's finally almost ready to premiere, so make sure you guys head over to Rush Life Podcast. Subscribe. As we said, this is going to be like an adult podcast. We love the kids, but, you know, it's for, it's grown, for folk. grown folk conversation. Grown folk talk. We're so excited. Episode one, this Sunday. Let's go, April 9th. And also, y'all, we got something we got to start this vlog with. And you guys know whenever we do this, it is straight motivational purposes only because Absolutely. Keisha and I, y'all, if you don't know, this is actually something we talk about a lot in the first podcast episode, but we came from very humble beginnings. We never had money, but we always had big dreams and big goals and big aspirations. And we just try to tell y'all that anything is possible because our story is living proof that anything is possible. If we can do it, you guys can do it too. It doesn't have to be YouTube, but whatever your goals and dreams are, you can achieve them. That's right. It's possible. So we're going to give you some inspiring vibes right now. I'm so proud of my wife. This is something she talked about since I first met her. All right, so 15 years. 15 years. 15 wow. years. This is something she was manifesting and working towards, and she finally did it. So I'm very, very proud of her. And I'm gonna give her the camera because what she's about to show y'all <laughs> is so amazing, so cool, and so inspiring. I'm proud of you, babe. Thank you, babe. You deserve it, though. Thank so here, you take so it, much. take it away. Can you hold it for me? I can hold okay, it for you. Okay, awesome. You know, when we first met, I was a little bit of a geek. I don't know, but like geeks are cool. Geeks anyway, are super so cool. I used to play like video games when we first met, and. One of my favorite games was Need for Speed. You know, I tried all the cars in the game, but there was just one car that stuck with me and like, I won all the races with this car. And I started seeing it in real life and I was like, that's my car, like that's my car. I just kept saying it and like- You were, it had, you were drawn to it. I was drawn to it. And I know I've had other cars before or whatever, but like this car has always been on my mind and I'm like, you know, I know I have kids, so I'm gonna have a car that can fit my kids. But now you're gonna see us in this car. So I just wanted you guys to know <laughs> that I officially purchased my dream car and like actual dream car people say actual. dream car but the, as i told y'all 15 years i've heard keisha talk about it and manifest yes. it this is a real dream car like it's 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 unreal i almost kept it a secret because it was like almost unreal to me that i actually have it like yeah. finally you know so this is something i'm gonna keep forever i don't want no more cars i'm i'm over <laughs> it you know we, we have family cars that come and go but this is gonna be a definite permanent one in my life I had the opportunity to customize it. Anyway, enough with the rambling. Let's Let me show, show them. you guys my baby. <laughs> Porsche 911 4S. I actually got to customize it at the perfect time. I caught it before it came with different colors. So I got to choose the color of the rims, the color of the car. Oh my goodness. And the interior. Ooh, peanut butter. Peanut butter interior, you guys. It's a four seater, so, you know, only small kids can fit back there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I gotta give it to you on the design, though. Mm -hmm. Y'all, leave a comment, let her know how she did with the design. The green with the gold, like, come Ooh, on, come this on. This green is, come on. It's that python, what do they, they call it, python green or something it like that? Like money green to me. Okay, that's how you feel. All right, so there she is. I don't have a name for her yet, y'all, so I don't know what I should name her, but let me know. If I should name her, if I should just call her my baby, because she really is my baby. But we're about to hit the road, y'all. We're about to have a low road trip, me and babe. Like we've been telling you guys, we're trying to reconnect on a different level this year. So we're about to have a low road trip. Let's go, let's and hit the road. we're taking my baby, so let's go. All right, y'all, so we made it to the Keys. That's our, our road trip. We're in, um, what's it called? Key Largo Key right Largo. now. Key Largo. Okay, so y'all, we just had some amazing seafood, but this right here, this is on another level. This mm. is... Where's the graham cookie? I'm very confused. I don't care about no graham cookie. This is coconut ice cream. This isn't no key lime. It's lit. Are you gonna go back in there and get the actual one we're supposed to get? I'm loving this. This right okay. Now. I love the presentation. This is coconut ice cream. Yeah. What did you ask for when you went in there? I said we forgot our dessert. And? And then she went and got it. I'm like, oh, the coconut one, right? She said, yeah. 
This is not key lime pie. It's supposed to taste like lime. Okay, so this time you go in and get the uh, next uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. All right, dessert number two. Ah, you know yeah. what they say, uh, happy wife, happy life. So He didn't want to go back. When your wife sends you back into the store for a third time to get her key lime pie, mm -hmm. you gotta do what you gotta do. He so. almost didn't want to go back, but you know what the bargain was? What? That he got to finish the coconut ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh, yeah. Look at it a little bit I'm toasty on the top. Get a little, a little zooming on this one. Okay. One of the main goals of today was to put our feet in the sand today, all right? And we thought that was gonna be at the Keys. Cause when you think of going to the Florida Keys, I mean, that's what you think. Beautiful beaches, vibes. You know, we vibed. Yeah, we vibed. The whole yeah. point was really to drive Babe's car and we did that. But now we just pulled up to a much better beach, y'all. We've been driving the whole day. Mm -hmm. It is now almost four o'clock, y'all, almost 4 p.m. And we've been in the car the whole day. So it's time to get <laughs> out and stretch our feet and go vibe. Let's get it. Mission accomplished, babe. Uh, we made it. <laughs> Some type of water today. Yes. So therapeutic, man. Right? Yeah. We got our feet in the water. This is all we wanted today, y'all. So you guys, when the water is warm enough, I won't put my feet in the water. Like the last time in Cabo, I had to run away. It was freezing. You can hop in though, for real. Look, and there's people anyone. in the water everywhere. But yeah, they have swimsuits. I only have this little black dress. <laughs> All right, T-Squad, so we finally made it back to the crib. I know it didn't seem like it in the vlog, but we were gone the whole day. The whole like, day. Yo, we were gone for like eight hours, the so it feels- The sun's going down. The sun <laughs> is going dark. down. So it feels so good to be home, but y'all, we gotta talk, man. We gotta have a heart-to-heart, -heart because in the last vlog, we had a heart-to-heart, -heart, and this one is even more serious, y'all. We kind of did a bad thing as parents, all right? I'm gonna be honest. You know, we like to treat you guys like family and tell you, bring y'all inside our family and let you know the stuff we're going through. We kind of messed up. We left this guy home alone for the whole day. You guys always leave me home alone. You're not supposed to say that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So Camaro, Camaro's 13, y'all. So I'm kind of playing, but I'm kind of serious. The reason it's a bad thing is because he's growing up. Like, when did he get old enough to be home alone? He's 13, <laughs> like, like, bruh. So he's 13 and he's very mature for his age. So he I'm does. Not. You're not? What? You're supposed to say you are. That's Cali. So does that mean we Did can't you... leave him home alone no more? No, 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 no. no. You just say he's not mature. No, I are didn't... you or are you not? I am. Okay. <laughs> and look, he's so much taller than Keisha now, y'all. Look that. at that. Look at that. It's the hair. If he cut his hair, he wouldn't be. We left him home alone. And let us know in the comments, do you think we're bad parents? I don't think so because he's at that age where like he can cook for himself. He knows not to answer the door. We're in a safe neighborhood. You can cook? He knows to call us. So he should be good to be home alone, right? Hold on, Camaro can cook? Okay, what'd you make today? Um, what'd you make? Why are you looking at me like that? Yeah, what happened? <laughs> Did something happen today? Why are you making that face? I don't know. What happened? Yo, babe, it's like something that actually I, I happened. I want to know what happened. What happened? He's smiling, but he's like... Yeah, come here, you can tell us like, what happened. Tell us what happened. Okay. <laughs> wow, so something actually did happen. I don't know. What happened? Okay, I'm making a grilled cheese, but I did it different, all right? All right. I did with burger buns. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and... Did you do it in the toaster or on the stove top? On the stove. Okay, yeah, like this poster. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right? All right. Yes. So, so what happened? So I put the butter on the buns. Uh huh. I put it on the pan. Mm hmm. And then I put it too high. Pan started sizzling, and then I look, my whole bun is burnt. Did it go on fire? I don't know. Oh so my Meryl, god. Why are you saying you don't know? Just tell us. Did it? You know what? He doesn't Yo. want to be in trouble. I think. Why didn't you even call us if something bad happened? Did you almost start a fire? No. Why didn't you call us? Mommy's why? right. Why didn't you call Maybe. us? Maybe. And he's rubbing his eye like when he's nervous. Camaro, why didn't you? We weren't Bruh. even home, so how are we gonna because, happen? Because I had it under control. But okay. did you almost? What would you do if it caught on fire? What would you do? I took water and just throw it on it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a gas stove, you know. Yeah. That's, well, I'll turn it off then throw the water. Okay. Okay. That's okay. that's better. Yo, that's so something we're joking around, but something actually did happen. Yeah, the way he's like. Yeah. <gasps> Why didn't you call us and say, Mom, Dad, I almost burnt the house? Because we would rush home and forget our plans. But you know what? He's at the age where he has to learn as he goes. Like, yeah. we, can, we can tell him all we want, but he has to try it and learn. But it was only bread and cheese. Like, what's really gonna happen? And yeah. The bread's gonna burn. I feel you. And what? Hey, turkey. Callie. Y'all, look turkey? who we got. You what's up, girl? Turkey? No, like, a turkey was in it. What's oh. up? 
your hair <laughs> That's so all you messy. got to say? All right, so come here. On a very serious note, though, if something ever goes wrong, you gotta call me, all right? Cause I'll always be, I'll always be there for you, all right? Mm -hmm. You good to, to be home alone once in a while? Yeah. He's going, you hear him? Yeah. He's growing up, y'all. How old was Kamara when we started YouTube, babe? Five or six. He was five or six, and now look at this guy. He's actually kind of getting close to me in, in height. I mean, not quite, but when we started, yeah, he, was he was five. He was a seven. baby. Stop it. No, Stop, no, get off your tippy toes. Callie was three. Yeah. So Camaro had to be... Seven? No. Seven turning eight? No, seven, six, seven. <clears throat> Aren't we 10 years No, apart? because no? When, when you guys started, you guys did a birthday video of Camaro. And how no. old was he turning? Seven. Oh, so Wait, Callie got the receipts. I, I got a task for T-Squad. Hold on, I got a task. Let's do this. If someone can go to our old videos and the first person to let us know with the proof, with the receipts, how old Camaro was when we started YouTube based on our videos, then we will give you guys a $100 gift card somewhere online. A hundred? That's it? All right, what is it? 200? Five, 500. No. Whoa. Well, it's just going to our bottom 500. of the channel. 500. It's a giveaway. 250. 500. Five, wow. All right, 500 bucks. Yeah. I don't even get that much. I should get that much. <laughs> bro, you spoiled. All right, that, yo, random giveaway in this vlog, y'all. $500 to the first person to come with the receipts. Like, show us the proof, how you figured it out. Let us know in the, in the comments. Let's go. The day continues. Kira actually has a spring concert tomorrow at school. She's hiding over there because she doesn't want me to retwist her hair. Your hair is already twisted. It's got to make it look better. Don't like my teeth. Ah! The other three members of the family all preparing food. What are you preparing? Literally. Mira, what are you preparing, bro? Mixy muscles food. Dog food. So Nipsey eats a special type of dog food, as you guys can see. This is see. a gourmet meal. Have you ever tried it? Should I? Um. <laughs> don't don't encourage that. <laughs> You know what? I'm surprised he didn't say. What? I'll do it for more allowance. As you, as <laughs> if it is, I'm well. motivated by money. I will. <laughs> no! No! Trey's putting together the juicer and Callie is preparing the veggies. And Kira. Kira, are you gonna help? Hey, pick those up. Camaro, you're not her dad. I swear, Camaro. No, look what she did. Oh. Camaro yells at Kira like she's his child. He's like a serious big brother at this she point. She put all them on the ground. Oh, Kira, yeah, you're gonna have to pick up these grapes, girl. See? Seriously, Kira. And then... Yo, that's lit. But yo, babe, real talk though, I'm so proud of our family. We've been doing veggie juices almost every single day. Yes. And no, like, every single day. Pretty much every single day, and we always say health is wealth, but like we're really living it right now. Really living it, really for real. living it. We got some celery, carrots, cucumber, yeah. apple, and we're gonna put some ginger too. Yeah, you like ginger? Callie loves ginger in the smoothies, and I think it's really helping her skin. Oh, speaking of that, someone was asking um, if Callie has vitiligo. Callie does not have vitiligo, Callie has eczema. Sometimes, depending on what she eats, she gets candida. So that's What's the spots. Candida? The spots that you see on your face or sometimes on your arms. Um, but we had her take a food sensitivity test and we found out that Callie is actually allergic to quite allergic or to, sensitive to, to 21 things. 21 different foods. I don't care though. You should care. She should care and that's part of the reason why she flares up and then she's okay and she has these flare ups. So we're trying to teach her the importance of avoiding the foods you shouldn't have. <clears throat> what, what? Uh, I have a very busy you have a very busy week. Why are you changing the subject? We need everyone in the, everyone right now to comment down below, Callie, Avoid the foods you're not supposed to have. Everyone in the comments say mom doesn't rule Cali. Yes, I mom. do. Thank you guys. Girl, we'll be back. <laughs> that was not smart. <laughs> She's fine, everybody. So, fine. Uh, so tomorrow I'm horse riding. Uh, uh, Friday's tumbling. And then Saturday is horse camp. Horse girl's back at it. Horse girl back at it. But yeah, so we're trying to help her. Callie does enjoy the juices that we make, which is a really benefit because it helps with her digestion and everything else. But um, yeah, you know, all we can do is just try to guide them in the right direction and not buy the things they're not supposed to have. But she's a very sneaky girl, but we're trying to tell her when you do those things, it doesn't help you, it harms you. But we still love you. That is a bowl full. Like, look, and this is a big bowl. Look, I got a big hand. Look, 
You gonna tell them why it's so full? So you know, Nipsey had a vet appointment today, a check a checkup um, to make sure he's healthy in every way. And they told us, yo, we have to start feeding Nipsey more. And we already feed him a lot. But they're like, yeah, he's a little bit too skinny. He's not too skinny because we underfeed him. We feed him a lot. He's super skinny because he runs 24 seven. Like we oh, throw the ball for him all day, every day. We take him on bike rides. He's always, he's swimming with us. Like he's always running in the backyard. And the reason I know this, that that's the reason he's skinny is because when we go on trips, he doesn't get as much exercise because he misses us and he just kind of sits around waiting till we get back. <laughs> and when we come back from our trips, he is chubby, okay? When we get back from our trips, he's way heavier. He looks a little bit overweight. And that's like when we're only gone for like a week or five days. So anyways, long story short, we're gonna start feeding him more as of today. So even his, all his like bloodline, like his mom, his brothers and sisters, they're all built like him. He has that very athletic build. But anyways, enough talking. He's trying to get to this food right here. You gonna do it? Yep. Look how excited he is. Ready, set, sit. Stay. <laughs> Stay. Watch this, y'all. Even though he's super excited, he will not touch the food until he gets the command. Eat! <laughs> all right, Nipsey, make sure you breathe while you're eating that meal, my guy. While we were getting Nipsey's food ready, something super cute was happening in the background, y'all. Check this out. What did you say? I said he was your perfect food. Wow, our perfect. Wow. Look, Is she it made a heart? a heart. It's a heart. Oh my oh, god. Thank you, Kira. Thank you, Kira. <laughs> That's so special. Wow, we love it. Wow, yeah, she legit made us a heart out of fruit. And guys, you guys love this. Kiwi, yeah. yeah. Wow. That's right. Thank you, Kira. Can I get a hug too? Oh, and you got a heart on your shirt. Oh my gosh. Thank you, girl. That's so cute. I'll kiss your eye. I'm sorry. Thank you, Kira. <laughs> and you know when your daughter or, or son, when your kid makes you a fruit plate, mm. it just it just hits different. It just tastes better. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. If y'all want to see what goes on in the rush house on a typical school night, y'all, a typical weekday night, so y'all seen the veggie juice, y'all seen us just chilling and vibing in the kitchen, but this is also a typical night, y'all. We got TikToks going down. All right, so behind the scenes of Keisha and Callie learning a TikTok, I'm not even gonna jump in there and try okay, so because if I do it, in. It's in, down. Yeah, in and down, exactly. Oh. That's easy. oh. Where's the music? Ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <Hold> up. <laughs> you getting up in there? If you join, I'll join. Nah, nah, let's stick to it, let's go. All right, y'all, now we got the juice going on. We got Camaro doing the juicing while the girls are doing their TikTok. And look, y'all, Kiki's over there reading a book all by herself. It's a big vibe tonight, y'all. All right, girls, you got this. Let's go. Camaro, you got this. Let's go. Y'all, look at that juice. Yes, sir. There's nothing like fresh. <laughs> Camaro doesn't like the ginger. Are you okay? Yeah. So I gave him a cup before I put ginger in and he loved it. This is him drinking it with the ginger. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not lying, y'all. He actually loves it, but he doesn't like it with the ginger. How was the cup I gave you before the ginger? Good. How was it with the ginger? Horrible. <laughs> but y'all, um, there is nothing better than homemade veggie juice, y'all. Veggie juice with a little bit of fruits. Oh my gosh. Cheers, y'all. Callie loves the ginger. Let me know how it is. I mean, not just the ginger, the whole thing, but she likes it with the ginger. How is it? Let's go. You feeling it, babe? Let's go. How's the TikTok going, y'all? You got it? You got it? All right, so y'all gotta let me see. Mom. <laughs>